So what we're going to do in this short lecture is go through some of the lab models and microscope slides associated with uh, nervous tissue. So you'll see some of these again as we get into the brain and spinal cord also, but uh, this is just the, for the nervous tissue section. So this is a model of a multipolar neuron. So I just want to go through some of the anatomical features that you can see. So this is the soma or cell body. Here's the axon. And then each one of these projections, the whitish looking projections here, and then it's clear right here. These are the dendrites. All right, so going back to the, uh, the uh, axon, you can see that in this case, it's myelinated. You have uh, this white stuff surrounding it, insulating it. This is the myelin sheath. And these look like Schwann cells. So this would be the peripheral nervous system. And the gaps between the Schwann cells would be the nodes of Ranvier. And then covering this connective tissue, covering the myelin, this would be the endoneurium. Coming back here, here's your axon hillock, where the axon meets the cell body. And then this confuses a lot of students. So a lot of students just assume that these kind of orange looking things are dendrites. They're not, these are the dendrites here. What you're looking at here is basically axon terminals from other axons coming in and synapsing here. So this would be a synapse between that little, and remember we had synaptic knobs at the end of the axon terminals? That's what this is, so synaptic knob then you have this small space, which would be a synapse, and then your dendrite. And so these are all axon terminals coming in from other axons that are gonna either stimulate or inhibit this neuron. If we take a closer look at the inside of that model, we see the axon hillock again. And then here's what I was talking about. These are the axon terminals coming in, synaptic knob. This is where you would get the neurotransmitter released at that synapse. And then so looking at the structures inside the cell body, you have the nucleus. This looks like a Golgi apparatus. And then this rough ER with the ribosomes, this is, this is the Nissel bodies. You remember the Nissel bodies? The neurons have specialized rough ER called Nissel bodies. And I believe that does it for, for this model. I'm just going to go back again. So this is, remember there's different structural types of neurons. So this is a multipolar neuron. Remember, multipolar neurons make up motor neurons and interneurons. However, since we can identify Schwann cells here and not oligodendrocytes, that tells us this is the peripheral nervous system and this is a motor neuron and not an interneuron. All right, so moving on to some microscope slides. So this, these are ependymal cells. And so this network of cells is called the choroid plexus. And remember they have cilia, and the purpose of these ependymal cells is to produce cerebrospinal fluid. And these, this choroid plexus is located in the ventricles of the brain and central, central canal of the spinal cord. Here's a microscope slide of an astrocyte. Remember the astrocytes form the blood-brain barrier. And then over here, what we're looking at is actually it won't make a whole lot of sense right now, but a dorsal root ganglion, which is right outside the spinal cord, but a dorsal root ganglia contains sensory neurons. So these are sensory neuron cell bodies, and the cells that kind of surround them would be the satellite cells that we talked about, type of neuroglial cell. We come here, and this is a microscope slide of axons of neurons and so what you're looking at here kind of that light spot right there and you can see one here too those are nodes of Ranvier on axons so you can see that it kind of looks like little sections here here those light spots would be the nodes of Ranvier so these would be myelinated axons and then this is just showing you cross sections of a peripheral nerve so remember a nerve is made up of a bunch of neurons and so that's what you're seeing in here so this entire thing would be a nerve and uh, you can see the little bun the bundles of fascicles of neurons inside it so more microscope slides these are uh, pyramidal cells so they look like little triangles think pyramid triangles these are found in the cerebral cortex of the brain and if that doesn't make any sense to you it's fine at the moment because we'll cover the brain in the next chapter so pyramidal cells found in the cerebral cortex of the brain 
then these are Purkinje fibers. I'm sorry, Purkinje cells, not Purkinje fibers. Purkinje cells. Purkinje cells are found in the cerebellum of the brain. Again, if that cerebellum word doesn't make sense to you, it's just a part of the brain. So just know that these Purkinje cells are found in the cerebellum of the brain. And these should look familiar. So since we're talking about nervous tissue, we have to kind of bring up sensory receptors again. Here's a Pacinian corpuscle, which responds to deep pressure and vibration. Here's a Meisner corpuscle in the skin, which uh, responds to touch and feel.